Hey guys, Professor Bill Comic Book University and Royals, issue number 11. All right, just to get straight off the bat, I didn't not like this comic, but the fact that I had to say that means I'm going to say some things that are going to make it seem as though I didn't like the comic. Now, here's the deal. What happened in this comic is hard to really tell sometimes. The progenitors are there on the, their planet and the and humans are there and they're a threat apparently and like people are using their powers to combat these progenitors and they're kind of a bunch of punks if, you know, a couple of humans are taking them out. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, look, listen, when you have somebody as powerful, I don't know if anybody remembers this, when you have somebody as powerful as like the invisible woman and she's able to take down one of these uh, sentinel, uh, sentinels, <laughs> uh, um, celestials, you know what I'm saying, with her invisible force field power, that is says something. That's like, whoa, she's so powerful, especially since it took Galactus to take out the other one. And then Reed Richards had to use, like, you know, his tech to take out three of them with some super gun that he made. Like, you know, just little things like that. Or it's like, you know, you show one regular character is able to do that. You're like, this character is unbelievably powerful. That's awesome. But like Swain's taken out. Like, I'm sorry, who who thinks that Swain is like the greatest thing since sliced bread? I mean, she's cool. She is, but they haven't really done anything with her to make me say that she's, you know, amazing. So, I mean, she doesn't need a solo series. She just needs to actually be featured. Right now, her biggest power is that Maximus can't use his power when he's around her unless they go in sync and then they can. And then it's like even more powerful. Oh boy, could you have a power other than helping out the crazy person use his? So I'm just I'm not particularly impressed with some of the things that are happening in this comic. Uh, the progenitors are supposed to be this big thing equal to the Celestials. I don't see it. They're just a bunch of really, I don't know, they look almost like Betamax stuff, you know, uh, uh, Baymax, whatever it's called, you know, the big hero six and all that stuff. Like it's, it's, they got the silly faces. One of them's got a predator head coming out of a stomach. And it's like, what, what's going on here? How am I supposed to be really impressed with these things based on the way they look and the fact that they're just, they're getting punked out by a couple of inhumans. And I mean, inhumans, they couldn't even take down the X-Men for crying out loud. This is not the greatest book that there is. Again, I didn't not like it. I'm just, there's some things in here that happen that I just don't see. I don't see a purpose for it. And with all due respect, when you have a book that's not explaining a lot, a lot of time, you know, in the writing, you will need the, the art to explain it also. It's supposed to be that good backup to let you know. It's the reason why we're not reading novels. We're reading the comic books because we want the art to back it up, not just to be there as, you know, hi, I'm here too. No, 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 no. You want it to be a backup. You want them to complement each other. And here, I don't feel that the artwork actually backs up what's being written. And that not that something different is happening, but sometimes you just, you're not getting the real picture here. The, the explosions don't give you a center to know what's exploding. And just, it's, it's a really weird read. Uh, on top of that, it looks like Gorgon died. And ah, I, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. I'm not looking at this like, Oh, wow, Gorgon died. You know what? Like, I'm cheering. I'm cheering like, oh, good. Let that stupid guy die. Because I'm so upset that, like, you know, what do you call it? She, uh, Medusa finally dumps a human torch and then gets back with, with um, Maximus. Uh, not Maximus. Oh, God, that's horrible. With Black Bolt. And then all of a sudden, she's kissing and, and dry hump. Not even dry hump. She's actually humping uh, Gorgon. What the frick? Where did that come from? And again, even the comic book is acknowledging this came out of nowhere because Crystal, her sister, and everybody else is saying, Maximus, did you have something to do with this? Because it's really freaking weird. It's completely out of character. Everybody knew that he loved her, but and she knew it, but she never acted on it. So what the heck is going on here? So I'm still a little bit like, you know, whatever. Okay, you just made this character into somebody that nobody really likes anymore. And then you kill him. I'm sorry, were we supposed to be, you know, going, oh, no, that's so sad. Not poor Gorgon. F Gorgon at this point. So, yeah, sorry. Um, just I've, I've liked the comic up until the, the, this progenitors thing got like really going forward. Ever since the whole Sky Spears thing, it just started to become a little bit too weird. I still don't really understand the purpose of the Sky Spears. What's the difference between that and Mojo's TV antennas that he sends down? That at least makes sense. This is just like, is it bad to touch them? But it actually kind of helped things. So what's the deal here? And you got the Primogen. Yay. And? <laughs> so, I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm going to give this comic a C. 
again, C, C passes. C is not a great grade, but again, I did not like this comic. I just can't really say that I did. It was really weird. Mixed emotions. Mixed bag. All right, guys. Professor Bell Comic Book University. Class dismissed.